So here's the new power plant for the new 2015 Honda Fit. We have uh, here, as it mentions, Earth Dreams Technology IV Tech, which is the new 130 horsepower, 1.5 liter, 16 valve, direct injection, double airbag cam, four cylinder engine. Uh, as we see here too, I'm uh, just going to get into where you can fill the oil. We've got the oil dipstick, everything is nicely colored. As we see here and in blue we have the washer fluid where you can uh, fill up washer fluids as well. Okay, I am just going to go over here. It's nicely neat. You can actually see, actually see the battery. Uh, the air filter is inside here which we will do when we maintenance the vehicle for you. So here we have the wheels and the alloys. Now here we have the shown as an EX model with alloy wheels, 16 inch. We do have another wheel. It's a 15 inch steel wheel which comes in the DX and the LX trim line. But the EX and the EXL Navi come with this aluminum alloy wheel, which is a nice sporty grip. 2015 Honda models. We have the front and rear collapsible mirrors. As a demonstration on the collapsible mirror front and rear, uh, very easily forward and back to the driver's window. And there's many reasons why you might want to do that. For me, going through a drive-thru, grab my coffee so I don't hit the counter. There she is. And here's the driver's window controls. We have uh, the driver's auto up and down. We have uh, left rear, right rear, and right front. We have the child's a window safety lock over here. We have the auto lock buttons to lock the doors and unlock the doors and of course we here we have the uh, power uh, side view mirrors left and right and the toggle to move them left and right as positioned. And center locks them all so that they can't be moved. And there's the window controls for the drivers. And here on the driver's side dash console uh, we have the econ button where you can keep it on or off. I recommend it keeping it on because it gives you 6% better fuel efficiency. You notice the little white leaf on the button, but when it's on, it'll have a green illuminated leaf on the dash, which indicates that it's on. We also have traction control, which you can uh, on or off as well here too. I recommend also keeping that on for your safety. And first time, here we go, we have a coffee cup holder for the left-handed coffee cup trigger which you can keep it cool or hot by keeping your air conditioning on or your heat on as well and here we have the new 2015 fit steering wheel so here we have the audio controls volume you can change the source okay and here we have the information center uh, information menu uh, as we go down here we have the Bluetooth set up your phones, take incom incoming calls, which is kind of mandatory now these days. Uh, we have over here, we have cruise control. Okay, resume, cancel, and set, and to put your cruise button, your cruise system on with the cruise button right there. Back here, we have paddle shifts, which is new for the 2015 Fit for the Sporty Drive. We have the wipers, front and rear. Okay, as you can see here, we have the mist off intermediate low and high settings and then we have the rear function for the rear wiper for the hatch on this side over here we have the signals left right we have the uh, headlights and we have actual an auto feature so you keep the on auto it'll uh, uh, put your interior and exterior lights on for day and night driving as well and your fog lights as well too and of course we have tilt and telescopic steering which is really neat and very comfortable for the driver. And here we have the audio and air conditioning controls. Uh, right up here we have the four-way hazard. Uh, we have the stereo control system. We have the power button on and off. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've got volume illuminated where we can go high with just finger touch control, which is really nice. Okay, we can lower, we can mute it all at once. And then we have Phone settings, just all with finger touch. Okay, there's no phone right now. It's telling me there's no phone paired, of course. And I can go back. Uh, I can go back to home page again to get all my displays. Info. Info is about the uh, vehicle maintenance, uh, how many kilometers I've driven, which I'll touch into that. 
as you can see fuel economy efficiency and average fuel economy and then, and then history trip history which there is none because it's a brand new vehicle uh, go back to home audio settings okay you can tune it seek pick your uh, stations set them as you wish okay uh, settings here as well too uh, we can go to phone settings audio settings Bluetooth in, info about the vehicle we can go to camera which is the rear backup camera and system and that and then we got link connect okay uh, with Bluetooth and other systems and that but right now we don't have it so but there that's pretty well uh, the system is all finger touch control uh, and over here uh, we have uh, our air conditioning settings and everything so temperature cold you can see the little red dial dot right there the heat settings fan speeds okay and then and then if you want floor settings defrost or if you want a combination of floor and windshield or floor and vents forward and then we have here the fresh air on or off okay if you want to cycle you should always have the fresh air on uh, an AC button on over here and here have here we have is the rear defrost with side view mirror defrost as well and that's that here we have the instrument cluster and on the far left over here we have the uh, RPM gauge okay and we have as you can see here not only when we have the shift on the floor going into park and drive and reverse it's also lit here in the corner as you can see right now is in park the coolant light blue that is for coolant when it's cold when that light is off that means that the engine in, engine is already warmed up uh, over here we have the speedometer we have it in kilometers an hour and miles per hour as well too and as you can see the instrument cluster is all lit right now with all the warning lights that's because the key is just on right now without the engine started oil level battery doors open seat belt over here on the far right we have the fuel gauge information center how many kilometers trip odometer and your fuel efficiency right over there and that's our dash here I'm going to demonstrate the uh, back seats the configuration uh, as you can see over here with the lever where I'm touching you can lift up the lever and move the seat back to give it a little bit more recline or you can take this seat and just lift it up which is called tall mode right up fold the bar down and it locks the seat in place as you can see how much storage you have in case you had something tall inside here and you can also do the exact same thing what I just did here on the passenger side as well too you can bring this back down again as you can see by moving this lever right over here you can fold this seat right down flush for a lot of storage from back to front for cargo space and of course you can take that seat back down here and you can carry quite a bit in here so here I'm going to demonstrate what's called long mode, a new feature for the 2015 Fit and an exciting one for you long trip haulers here. You move this passenger seat up forward, you recline it down a little bit so that you can remove the headrest. You've got the safety lock there. You move that, you push the seat down as far as it can go. That's long mode. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around and I'm going to sit inside there so you actually see what I mean. So now that I've demonstrated putting the seat down, I'm going to put myself in the vehicle and take off my shoes. Upholstery. I'm going to get myself in here, buckle myself up. And there I am. Comfortable, safe as always and ready for a long trip. Come see us today at Gore Motors Honda and speak to one of our knowledgeable sales associates and come in for a test drive.